Shalom, Israel, Shalom, Shalom. This brother Lawa I want to give our praise to the Most High Yahweh, Wah Yahweh Shah. I want to give our praise to the Aksa Akum, trying to wake up the 12 tribes in this modern day Babylon that we living in, in these last days, man. And I'm talking in this video to Israel who knows that Israel, if you want to know, like, pretty much how I prove, you feel me? Proven facts that you're Israel and how you will line up with being the 12 tribes. I have other videos. You have to go down to the bottom of my page. So lucky for that too. You have to go down my page. And I have a three part videos that will show you. This is for Israel that know that Israel. This video is for pretty much precepts on like you just in this truth. You just got into the truth. You need precepts on knowing like what to go. You feel me? Precepts on your journey. Help you through your journey. This is precepts that you should keep with you through your journey, getting to the most high. And the reason why all our folks are noticing right now that a lot of our people are starting to wake up in these last days is because Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the most high and keep his commandments, for this is the whole duty of man. It's the whole reason why our people are starting to wake up in these last days, because the fact that the most high is waking you up to start keeping the law, statutes, and commandments, to knowing who you are, to coming back to who you are, to pretty much knowing that this book is your history. It's your foremothers, your forefathers, our whole history that was taken away from us before slavery. Before slavery, this is what we had, that after slavery, they beat us out of us just like Django and Roots. Facts, straight like that. This book was taken from us, our history, our heritage. So the precepts that I'm gonna be bringing up is just something to keep with you, precepts to keep with you through your journey, man, through your journey. First, I'm gonna bring out Psalms 119 and 71. And it reads, it is good for me that I have been afflicted that I might learn thy statutes. It's good in this journey that you have been afflicted. It's good that you went through what you went through in your past life, or you wouldn't been humble enough to know that the Most High is real and know that to, you need to take this life thing, the thing that they call life, you need to take that serious. You need to start understanding it's more to life than trying to be a fake thug or be tough, be famous, little Instagram popular, pretty much stuff that people that's actually there tell you hey chasing money that people that's actually up there tell you this stuff don't make you happy this don't make me happy you see rappers killing themselves rappers getting killed so you're not invincible from the world it's a lot that's going on that's showing truth and they're showing nothing but what's really going on like people that think they're untouchable is getting touched folks that thought money will make them happy getting up there and letting you know before you even try to chase money it's stuff that make you happy. True happiness is in these scriptures. True happiness is knowing that the Most High loves you and knowing that you're doing all you can do to show him that you're appreciative and appreciate the life that he gave you, man. The breath that he breathed in you, the fact that he woke you up, you're showing it through works, not just saying it, because that's not what love is. People think love is just a feeling. What me and my ribs just went through, like talked about last night, love at the top of it is works. In the middle is you feeling it, you feel me feeling the actual feeling of love when it comes to these scriptures and the truth it's pretty much fearing the most high and then bottom is saying it words don't mean a damn thing to no one you notice this everybody know that words don't mean nothing if it has no works at the top works is the most thing it's the the biggest thing honestly works behind it really shows what words can't say and a feeling can't say you feel me you can't just see a feeling you can feel a vibe and all that, but you can't see a feeling. You can see and really interact with the works that people do to show you point blank period that I love you. And these are the works you got to show the most high. You got to keep the commandments, man. You got to keep these commandments. Simply put, Psalms 119 to 60, I may haste and delay not to keep thy commandments. You can't delay in this journey to keep the commandments, man. You literally have to make haste. <laughs> like it says, make haste. Literally look it up like, damn, I don't know no commandments. I know that that's the whole manner of man. The whole point that we're here is to keep the commandments. 
Like, what are the commandments? Folks think the Ten Commandments is the only damn commandments. You think in this big, this big Bible, you think in this big old Bible that is only Ten Commandments for real? Like you literally, like, nah. Simply put, nah. I ain't gonna go into tangents. Simply put, no. It's not only ten. It's like six hundred plus, six hundred plus law statutes and commandments combined. That's in this Bible. You literally have. We have to learn them all, man. That pretty much shows you the fact. You remember that is that much. It shows you that you will have more to learn. As much as you think you know, you don't know a damn thing. This you waking up in this truth and knowing that, damn, we the God's chosen people. We gotta keep this law statute of commandments. You start noticing your whole life was damn nothing. It wasn't nothing. It was following the white man's school system, being trying to be something in social media that the white man put in front of you to show that you should either to make it or be something in life. You gotta be either a thug or rap or dance for us. Hey, play some sports for us, man. Make us money. Make us money, and that's how you're going to live, and that's how you're going to be happy with your family, is making us money in the long run. You start to notice that your life was is nothing. This truth is what it is. This truth is the only thing that's going to save you. This truth and following these commandments is the only way that you're going to show the most high that you love him. Simply put, what you need to do when you first get in this truth, man, uh, Psalms 32 and 5. Speaking on repentance, you need to repent. You need to let the Most High know, simply put, the things that you've done in the past that is a sin. Let me bring that up first. Because folks might not know what sin is. Nowadays, sin, people think sin is not holding the door open for somebody or just not agreeing with somebody. That's a sin. Like, any, like nah. Sin and the scriptures. 1 John 3 and 4 is whosoever commits sin transgress also the law. For sin is the transgression of the law. Sin is breaking the law statute commandments. That's what sin is. The only time you'll be sin and be in sin is breaking the law statute commandments of the most high. Our, our whole life pretty much was sin. If you know and you came in this truth, you would know that shrimp crab, shrimp crab and lobster is a sin. You're not supposed to eat those things. When it comes to pork, that's a sin. Pork, pig, they're the land mammal. I mean, that's a land animal. <laughs> that's a lot, yeah. That's a land animal that's supposed to filterize the land. You know, if you know, pigs eat a, any damn thing. They'll eat a human, a dead body, a dead rat, anything, literally anything. It would be trash. Anything that you put in front of a pig, it will eat it. Same with the daggone, uh, bottom feeders what clams shrimp you feel me lobster all that stuff they be at the bottom to feed off the bottom what comes out your bottom straight dookie so you're eating seasoned dookie <laughs> eating seasoned dookie that's inside of a, like side of a, a land creature that's supposed to clean the floor you're eating what cleans the floor that makes sense to you if the most high told you not to do it, even then you should it'd be so quick, like I said, make haste. That's that's easy to do, that's quick to do. When the most high told you don't eat something that's that's literally filterizing the earth, why would you want to eat in the first place? That should be something quick. Fringes, so much different things that you didn't know. You're not wearing these fringes, that's a sin. So much things that you didn't know that was a sin. You're starting to learn now in the, in your journey. So, it's, uh, like, simply put, my bad, in your journey, you're starting to notice what really is, what you really need to, like, your whole point of life. Like I said in the beginning, the whole manner was to keep these commandments. Commandments. The whole point of you waking up was to keep these commandments. Not burning sage or getting chakras. Don't a damn. Don't nobody care about no man-made chakra that you say these. Symbolize the earth. It came from the earth. No, somebody made it and put it on Amazon and you bought it. You walked in your local five and below, five below, <laughs> and bought it. You bought sage and, and, and the damn chakra and the damn box kit. And you think you special because you put 444 on your damn bio. 
and you think you spiritual as hell now. Oh, I'm woke. I'm seeing numbers. You don't even know what you're supposed to be doing with them numbers. You just see numbers put in your bio and uh, I'm a spiritual female. I'm, I'm different. I'm one of those. You ain't one of them ones. I mean, not Ray Oji. You is not one of them ones. <laughs> because it's a lock it's lock it. Like it said. Songs 32 and 5. I acknowledge my sins until the until it's lock it. I acknowledge my sins unto thee. And my iniquities have I not hid. I said, I will confess my transgressions unto the most high, and thou forgivest the iniquities of my sins. Say La. That's how you repent. You let the most high know the sins that you did not know that was that you was doing. You let him know those sins, you repent from it, and you don't do it again. You can't sit there and say, oh, I repent, I repent, I repent, and then go back and do the same thing. You think the most high is is playing with you. Like you really like folks be playing with the most high, and that it'd be making me so mad, not gonna lie to you. You really will know. Well, if you don't know, you don't know. But you will start noticing when you do know. Repent from something that you know, like shrimp, crab, and lobster. Then go back and go eat it. You thinking that you can play with the most high is just gonna get you killed. The wages of sin is death. Simply put, you playing with sin, the cost and the payout is death. You're just going to get paid in death. Car crash, anything. A, a lot of weird stuff been happening nowadays, so it could literally be anything. You can literally die from anything that the most I choose. He could literally have you die to have somebody else wake up. Somebody else in your family crying so bad, like, why this happened? Why this happened? Start noticing life is real. Just off of your death. You could be the one that lived to show them the truth, but you you choose to die. You choose to die, and now the most I put in their spirit to wake up and actually do what needed had like to what needed to be done. Folks gotta wake up, man. We bring out the next preset. Let's get so I get Matthew 5 and 30 and the reason. If thy right hand offend thee, cut it off, cast it from thee. For it is not for it is possible for these that one of the thy members should perish, and not that thy whole body should be cast into hell. So let's break it down. And if thy right hand offend thee, if you have something that you can't stop doing, like you notice it, like your whole body is righteous, you, you following these commandments, but this side, you just can't stop eating pork, man. You just can't stop doing what you want to do. You can't stop breaking the commandments on this side, that one commandment. Cut it off and cast it from thee. Put it away from you. Cast it off. Dead it. I mean, like dead it. Like simply dead it because these last days, there's nothing to really be playing with. Because you notice the wars that's going on. That's pretty much honestly what I'm seeing. Is it's just showing you what's going to finally happen to America. Once they all turn their, their eyes at America. Like y'all are the ones who really stirring this up. They're going to notice that America is the one who really making them fight. They all want to be like. They're going to all look at us like man you know what. They the ones who need to go. And when everything turns at us. You're not going to know what the hell to do. Believe me. You notice what's going on in uh, what is it, Russia and Ukraine? You're not gonna know if that happened to us. You're not gonna know nothing to do. You ain't gonna know what to do. These homeless people out here, they've been living in the, in, in the in the elements. Once you live in their life, boy, I tell you, it's gonna be crazy. The stuff that they're gonna do to you will be wild. You know, you know. If you know, you know for a fact. Cast it out from thee, for it is profitable for thee that one of thy members should perish. It's profitable that you cutting off that side. That side would need healing. That one little thing need the healing, and not that the whole body should be cast into hell. Not your whole body gonna fall, and you gonna fall back into this world, back into you feel me, back into your mind. The Most High. First off, I, I hope you know the same way He woke you up. You can knock your little goofy ass right back to sleep. You'll be rock right back to sleep and be right back in this world. You'll wake up 
start noticing numbers and all this. And then go straight back to go partying, go doing whatever you want to do, just jumping out there, just doing whatever. He can he can do that too. I hope you know the most high ain't he's not what the Christians show him, like as in all soft and all playful and stuff. This man is a man of war. He's the one having people live and killing people too. He kills people too. You think the balance that he that he loves so much, the most high is, is a man of balance and evil ju and you feel me, good judgment. You think when it comes to good things, he ain't making the bad happen too? That don't even make sense. That don't make sense for y'all to, for anybody to even think that he's not the one killing people too. The same way he keep people up. You think that he he really just I'm all good, and the devil that's all. The devil just as good as me making people die too. You think he not allowing that stuff to happen? It's all of the Most High. The devil's below him. Do you not know this? He's allowing people to die because you know what he's allowing to die, like the things that's happening. It's just going to, at the end of the day, wake up the people that's really going to do this work and really going to be solid and stay solid in his truth. You know, you know that the end is, it is what it is. For me, he's going to, a lot of people, y'all was wicked, you was wicked anyway when you asked Doc. He's like, ah, I'm just allowing them to, you feel me, dog and do what they want to do. Cause either way, somebody else is going going to wake up in that place. It's lock it. Going to wake up in that place. Come on. Going to wake up in that place. Lock it. He know that somebody else is going to wake up in that place and really keep what he what he woke you up for. Like in the beginning, the whole matter of man, the whole purpose is to keep the commandments you know the other person is going to actually do the footwork and start to understand or want to understand what's really going on he's not going to, he's no damn well that that person i mean small sacrifice for big game what y'all say uh in the world uh small setback for for a major comeback yeah that's 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 people dying it's a small setback for a major comeback for a fact, that's all you are. You want to die in this world and think that you're dying a, a thug or, or something tough. You just, to the most high, you're just a minor setback for a major comeback. You're a minor setback because he's sitting here and have to kill off his people, but for a major comeback because the luck will be sealed. The people that's really going to do this work will be, they're going to wake up. They're going to really wake up. Minor setback for a major comeback. That is you. Let's go to the next preset. It's gonna be a quick video, man. I'm, you know what I mean? You're just getting down to the point. Getting down to the nitty gritty. This is what you need to keep. Like, keep this in your repertoire. Keep these precepts, like, close to you, man. Know that this is nothing to play with, man. These last days is literally nothing to play with. It's not, it's not at all. Proverbs 7 and 2, and it reads, Keep my commandments and live, and my law as the apple of thy eye. Keep your commandments, you're gonna live. Simply put, he simply said, keep my commandments and live. You will live. People are like, you know, I can do the commandment and I probably, I can keep his commandments. I probably just end up dying it. The most high, you think he's going to break his promise? He told you. He simply told you. You think he's a, nah, he's not a liar. The most high is far from a damn lie. He told you, keep my commandments and live. It's his whole book on how to survive this world. It's a whole book on how to keep on going, how to keep pushing, how to keep striving and enduring in this thing that we call life. It's literally a book on keeping you alive. And people don't want to open it. You don't want to know how to keep, how to literally be alive, how to keep going, how to sit there and be a man and truly be a man. Because this is a book of on a man side, how to truly be a man and on a woman, how to truly be a woman and be what he made you out to be. I mean, made you to be. Simply put, this is your father that wasn't there. This is your mother that wasn't there. You can sit there and read about your forefathers and know how to be the man that you want to be to your child and your bloodline after you. Women, you can sit here and read about your foremothers and see what woman these, you feel me, the, that we was, the, the woman, the Proverbs 31, the proverb woman, a virtuous woman, how to be a real woman. Not what this world is perceiving it, cause you let this world teach it, y'all queens. 
Y'all above men. Y'all single mothers and don't need no man. I don't need a man. If you, I'm not even gonna get into that because like I said, the video not gonna be that long. This book is so much that can answer the questions that you have when you go through your spiritual awakening. That's one thing I have found out. All the questions I had, I swear, all the questions I had, because I had so many questions, so paranoid, noticing my life, noticing, damn, I could have died at this point in life, this point in life, this point in life. Damn, my life could have been taken away at so many damn points. What is the point of all this? Why am I starting to notice all this? I'm starting here thinking like, damn, it's probably because I'm about to, about to die, man. So I, the Lord's going to take me out at any point in time. Why am I noticing all these things? All these, like, it's literally in the scriptures, bro. It's literally there. It's literally there. Let me get my next precept. That's going to be... Let's see. That's going to be... It's all right, two... And 15. And it reads... They that fear the Most High will not disobey His word, and they that love Him will keep His ways. They that fear the Most High will not disobey. If you really know the Most High real, and you know, you noticing spirit people that's woken up. If you noticing what life is about, you know the Most High saved you from the things that you thinking and start noticing like, damn, that shit. This what happened to my man's could have happened to me easily. All this stuff I'm seeing happening to people. All through Baltimore, murder ain't period, bro. I'm talking about people in Baltimore, and I'm pretty sure they got, you feel me, different news and different things on social media all around. But what I know is Baltimore. We got murder ain't. It's a thing that updates literally, like, damn near the hour on the hour, telling, pretty much letting everybody know this person died at this hour. Next hour, this person died today, too. Just through every single day, people are dying. You noticing, damn, that could have easily been me, man. I could have easily been outside at that time at... And that place, being around those people, simply put, I could have been next. But fearing the most high, you, fearing the most high, will not, they that fear the most high will not disobey. Salaki, his word. If you fear the most high, you won't disobey. You will know that, simply put in the beginning, the whole manner of man, the whole reason that you're here, it's to keep these commandments. You won't disobey the commandments because you know what's going to happen if you do. You know that your life, the whole life that you had until like waking up, you notice like, damn, I wasn't following the commandments all that time. And that's why I went through half the BS that I've been through to make me so humble, so down and so low at this moment to know that the Lord is real. To know that I need more of my life. I need to do more of my life. You know, by fearing the most high, Bro, I got changed. I have to change now and fast. You will know. And it says, and they that love him will keep his ways. If you truly love the most high, you're going to put some action behind it, bro. You ain't going to just say, I love you, I love you, I love you. Like all these Christians be saying. All these different religions, period, be saying. And when I say religion, this that I'm following, bro, for all the people that be asking, I'm not in a religion, bro. This is literally our heritage that was taken away from us before slavery. This is literally a book of us. The Most High, Christ, the Most High and Christ look like us. They literally look like us. Daniel 7 and 9, I'm telling you right now, Daniel 7 and 9 is what the Most High look like. Revelation 1 and 13 and down is what Christ looked like. He looks like a black man with woolly hair, dark skin, and flame, uh, eyes of fire. Flame fiery eyes. He literally looks like us. This is a book of us, bro. It's literally a book of us. It's literally what it is. It's not a religion, because religion is people taking from our heritage, our life, and making it pertain to them so they can feel like they're the chosen people. That's literally what religion is. They literally take our lives and make it pertain to them so they can feel great about themselves lying to their damn selves. When none of this stuff that happened in this scripture, when it says uh, most of chosen people will go to slavery on ships and so many other things be low in the cities and have to slave in the cities and the fields. They can't say that was them. Nobody can say that was them. They're lying to themselves. They're literally lying to themselves. They're not the real. We are the real Jews. They're not the real Jews. 
Simply put. My next preset, well, third to last preset. Uh, five eleven. So I wreck five eleven, and it reads: Be swift to hear, and let thy life be sincere, and with patience give answer. Be swift to hear. Always want to build knowledge, man. Stop always thinking you, just because you quote unquote woke, quote unquote, because half y'all don't really be knowing what's going on. Like you, you're woke, like the most high woke your mind up, but you don't have nothing in your mind for you to be saying that you know something. You don't know a goddamn thing. You don't know nothing. You don't know jack squat. I want to say the S word, but I don't feel like cussing. <laughs> but you don't know nothing, dummy. You don't. Be swift to hear and let that life be sincere. Live sincere. Know that you sincerely love the Most High. You sincerely thankful for the things that He's saved you from, and the path that He's trying to show you that is way better than what you ever been through, and that will have the payout of life itself. Sincere, and the only way you can be sincere is keeping these commandments, man. Fearing the Most High, showing Him with action that you love, not just saying it out your mouth. Not just, oh, I feel like I love him. He's in my heart. He's in my heart. How the hell is he in your heart? How the hell is he just sitting in your heart when you don't do no works? How do you think, how can you sit there and boldly say, the Lord loves me. He knows me. He knows that you don't want to do shit that he asked you to do. He knows you. Yeah, he knows you. You're lying to yourself when you say he knows you in a good way. He knows that you're not trying to do a damn thing to help yourself. Not to give you no internal life to show him that you actually appreciate and care for him. And simply put, you don't. He knows that. You know that. You're just lying to yourself when you say, the Lord knows me. He's in my heart. He just he just knows me. He knows how I am. What the hell does that mean? Imagine I have a man that always be trying to fight me. Always trying to show that he don't care about nothing I tell him to do. And say, man, Ma knows me, man. He know, he knows me cool. He knows I love him. How? How the hell do you think I know that he, you love me, bro? How do I know that you my man's? But all you try to do, or all you do is do nothing that I ask you to do. Don't help me no way. You never build off of nothing. You never show that anything good I say out my mouth. You actually retain and hold that in. You don't care. It shows you don't care. Actions speak louder than words. Simply put. Actions speak way louder than words, bro. So lock it. Actions speak way louder than words, man. Without actions, my words have nothing. Like, it means literally nothing, bro. Like, smack nothing. Like, you can literally say things and act a different way. And it's like, what you said never, it was never there. You're just saying things. And don't, the, most, anybody, literally anybody don't care you say anything. Like, nobody cares what you say. If it has no action behind it, the hell with it, bro. Like, niggas don't care. My last two precepts, Philippians, you might notice, Philippians 4 and 13. I can do all things through Yahweh Shah, what strengthens me. You can do all things, bro, through, the, through Christ that strengthens you. You can do all things, man. You can change your life for the better. You can stop doing what you've been doing to keep these commandments. You literally can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. He'll put in your strength. If he know, like I said, sincerely, that you really want to do better and you want to know better, man, make the effort. He will allow you. He will put it in your spirit to do better. Simply put, he will He will help you out, man. You think the most high really wants, you think he's out here helping these niggas Sliding on people? No, he's waiting for somebody to actually show that they love him. For him to give the blessings too. He's not blessing them niggas, bro. Niggas be sitting there flaunting money in your face and you think, damn, that man's he gotta be blessed, man. The most I gave him money. He's he's getting money out here. That man is a slave to what they in this world will call their God. That money that niggas is dying for. Come on now, bro. You can do all things through your house child who strengthens you. 
And my last preset. It's locking. Songs 119 and 93 in a reese. I will never forget thy precepts, for with them thou hast quickened me. I will never forget these precepts, man. I will never forget these scriptures that the Most High showed me to allow me to, like it says, for with them thou hast quickened me. He made me quicken the spirit, man. The Most High made me a better person with these precepts, and I'm not going to forget what he gave to me, man. All praise to the Most High. All praise to the Most High. And with that, Kwame Shalom. Shalom.